COVID-19 showing it's still here even with restrictions lifted. Yeah, the recent rise in the last couple of weeks, month or so is, is concerning. Central Texas is currently dealing with a spike in new COVID cases. In Williamson County, they moved to their highest phase of COVID-19 guidelines, the red phase. Many who received the vaccine thought that they were long past this pandemic. I think uh, I think we all did. Um, it's especially once the vaccine came out and restrictions started getting loosened pretty quickly, starting in March with the vaccine becoming pretty widely available. Two deaths were reported in the county over the weekend, along with more than 300 new cases. Earlier this month, the new Delta variant was also found. In the last couple of weeks, it has really, really grown um, very quickly. Our hospitalizations have also more than doubled in the last two weeks. Um, we are now close to 5% hospitalization rate as well. Um, so, you know, we're keeping an eye on that. It's still still pretty low, but it, it is climbing at an alarming rate. According to the county health district, it's too early to tell if the area is going back to the rates they saw back in December and January. It's just beginning. This is just the first, you know, kind of part of the wave, and we don't know where the wave will crest um, and where it will end. With the school year just around the corner, the health district is concerned about potential spread, especially as the vaccine is only available to those 12 years old and older. We would highly, highly recommend, um, in conjunction with the AAP guidance that was just released, um, that parents continue to have their kids mask in school. The schools can't require it right now, but that doesn't mean that parents can't send masks with their kids and have their kids wear their masks.